the elevator or do you want to go inside this? Uh, We're already here. You want to go this way? Yeah. Save on! <laughs> I guess. This will be Lauren's first time going to Vegas. We're going for the RE Plus convention. We just had the weirdest Uber ride here, too. Weirdest one ever. We'll see what happens next. Yeah. B17. We're right here. See those guys. Stuff? I'm just getting a bearing where I'm at. Oh, yeah. uh, Meiji 4 is in a completely different spot. So we just have to walk that way. Okay. This is what we need. It's a shipping container. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Take it. If you need me, give me a shout. All right, guys. I'm going to need you. Okay, that's perfect. That's All right. Yeah. Nice to oh, meet you. Nice to meet you in person. This is my wife, Lauren. Hi, Lauren. She's... I see why I brought you. Yeah. Yeah. Camera. Candy. Camera. It's yeah. being used right now. So. Yeah. How was the helicopter ride last night? It's pretty good. Yeah, that's cool. It was guy. awesome. Well, we don't really gamble, so we'll just, just get a helicopter ride instead. Peyton was walking around. He's going to get somebody to give us a tour of everything that you have new or whatever you got Yeah, I would love here. to so do that. If you want to do that. Yeah. That I'd would be, be super. Glad to do it for you, yeah. Okay. Do my eyes look okay? Um, yeah, they're looking pretty good. Yeah, they're looking good. <laughs> they're nice and straight. We don't have to do like a specific video. I yeah. mean, I've, I'm just recording and walking around and stuff. But okay. if you want to be on video, we can do that. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. All right, what do you think, Lauren? Looking good. Looking good. Looking sharp. Okay. Yep, you look very muscular as well. Very yeah. muscular. Okay. Oh, do you got any more of these cool EG4 lanyards? Yeah, I do. I do. I got you. Um, I typically don't do videos like this, so okay. we're going to record in three, two, one, go. So I'm here at the... EG4 station here at the RE Plus 2025, and I am with John Tostanowski, director of sales with EG4. Okay, and he's going to go around and maybe give us an update of yeah. on all the new things that they have yep. coming out or happening right now. Absolutely. What do you got right here? So the Charge Burner Plus basically expands on the existing Charge Burner. Okay. Also adds some more weather durability, so it is IP54. Oh, okay. So 
not quite totally outdoor rated. Like you don't want it in direct somewhat standing covered. water, but somewhat covered and okay. it would be a better solution for those instances. Still maintains your 100 amp charge rate as well as your five kilowatt continuous charge rate. It's essentially an expansion on our existing charge motor lineup. Do you have any more off grid? Stuff, so as far as off-grid stuff, stuff, you could consider our mini split units off-grid in sure. a way. Sure. Uh, but that, that would be the extent of our off-grid lineup at okay. the show. I do have one question. I have one of these. Is this like a newer version? Yeah, this, this mine is looks a, slightly different than it this. is a newer version. Okay. Um, part of our continued approach and as we continue to grow as a company is to begin the assembly process on a lot of our inverter and batteries lineups here in the United States. So we are assembling many of our inverters here in the U.S. Okay. We, what else do you have that is new? Do you have anything that new? is new? Brand yeah, new coming out. Absolutely, I can walk okay. you guys over here. Should we walk this way? A lot it. of people uh, making uh, making videos. Yeah. So yeah, so this battery unit is uh, is a part of our new battery lineup, which is a 16 kilowatt hour or 314 amp hour battery. Nice. So our all weather wall mount battery will be increasing in storage capacity, which is a trend around the industry. Certainly Did you needed. Say this was indoor or outdoor? This one is going to be an indoor version okay. of the unit, okay. but we will make an indoor and outdoor uh, all weather wall mount battery. Okay. And it is paired with our Flexbus 21. Okay. Our Flexbus 21 is now being assembled in the US. And then to tag along with that, we'll show you in a little bit here our FIOC and domestic compliant uh, inverter and battery lineup, which Can is- you say that five times fast? That product will be really important for um, all of your third party ownership options out there. Oh, okay. So it is essentially US sourced battery cells, US sourced componentry, and meets the domestic content requirements um, that have been put forth. Uh, 18. How's it going? Great. He's just giving me a rundown of everything. Right, well, the new 16 so, coming out. Oh, yeah, that's what he was saying, the 16. Yeah, that's going to be... Uh, and you got it for indoor and... Indoor and outdoor. Indoor is behind here. It's even smaller. Oh, well, you just stole your show. That's okay. Oh. That's the indoor 16. Oh, okay. We ditched the screen. It's a point of failure. Okay. No, and no one was using them, so we just kind of rolled it up. Sorry, uh, go ahead. We sure. got, yeah, a whole new platform that's got, you know, fixed some of the glitches that we've ended up fixing with firmware as we went, in, as we went around, but Should like it does in? auto balance. I guess I'm just snapping this to you, I guess. Yeah. We oh, got time. Really? So we're so this okay. So this is yeah. Uh, yeah we're just rolling so it over to you now, I guess. The 48 volt series, I think, we'll see a 14 percent cost improvement with the 16 kilowatt hour battery. Okay. It's going to roll out somewhere around uh, around November. Okay. They, they, yeah, they've already gotten their certifications. It's... They're on the way, gotcha. and you know we're just going to on the way. You know the goal right now, everyone's trying to get the 30 percent tax credit. So yeah. we're going to have a lot of these for those last minute people that are sure. buying the stuff, delivering to their home, and trying to snap it up. Yep. But I think more conservative. So you're just going to grab that 14 and, yeah, and well, get to work on it. You know, the 100 volt system we have over there with the uh, the domestic content. We're showing the domestic content, 16 kilowatt hour battery with Michigan made cells. Okay. It's going to be more expensive than an Asian solution. And because of the way they disabled the homeowner tax credits, it's really not incentivized for Buy American for the cash and DIY. Yeah. But we are coming out with the best cost ever DIY battery that's 100 volts. 100 volt battery that's the Asian. It's an FEOC battery. We're and bringing you have an example of that over here? No, that oh, one's this one. No, this is the T on there. The key thing with the 100 volt inverter is we went from 12,000 watts from the battery to 16,000. The efficiency to charge and discharge is going up 5% because it's a 100 volt battery. Right. And we're going to drop the cost. 3700 so we're giving you 33 percent more power 12 percent less cost five percent more efficiency so we think between that and then the cost improvement on the 100 volt battery we'll make up the 30 points of the industry lost right. with 25d we'll do Which our part i did yeah. hear that in a couple of those uh live streams that you did yeah. because people were trying to get you to lower your cost to make up for that 30 percent and this is what you're telling well absolutely kind of you're we, we, yeah we've been listening we're working on uh, cost improvements for the grid boss as well yeah you know, that got hit on the wrong side of the trade war. So sure. I think we can do better. It's what we're telling guys, you know, it's a matter of time to change the supply chain, to build new products, yeah. and, uh, yeah. and and really, really roll that out. But conveniently, we're going to do it very quickly after the 25D uh, is gone in January. 
right. uh, very quickly after that, that new value prop hits the market yeah. and it'll help people recover uh, the value that they were missing out on. But at the same time, there's going to be a great argument to just buy the, the 48 volt systems and get that 30% tax credit. Yeah, so yeah. I think like, it, you know, there's probably a good argument for people to grab you know, a battery system this year. I think everybody should credit. have a battery system. Yeah. That's well, I mean, if you look at the Department of Energy report on the American yeah. grid over the next five years, yeah. 40% cost increase, 800 over hours years? over the next five years. Five years, okay. And they're expecting 800 hours of blackouts for the average American over the next five years. We're going to have record unreliability, and the real competitor we've always focused on is the power company. How can sure. we do better? So the, the, the interesting news for us is our real competitor is about to do a much poorer job. Right. And uh, and, and we know we're going to head the other direction and and make up. There's an argument that there's a lot of you know manufacturers of shows that are trying to chase us on pri on our current prices. Okay. We're going to move 30 points into the, into the cost effective overall right. uh, aspect right. and. Uh, the 100 volt architecture, we may have some 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 new uh, some Easter eggs coming for that because okay. there's a lot more you can do with a, with a higher voltage DC platform. 48 is just tricky; it has too many yeah. amps and it's low sure. efficiency. Yeah. Nice. Hey, well, I appreciate your time. Great to see you, Joe. This is going to be the new, uh, maybe the new system right here. And it's fake, so don't don't move it. Can you tell me about this? Yes. Yeah, so it's it's unreleased product. We're hoping it's going to come out during Q1. Okay. Cool. The idea is that we're doing like a domestic content only one. Is the okay. Goal. Is the goal. So like inverter something inverter, and this then is, battery? This is the inverter. This will be like the raceway. Like a oh, box. perfect. That's and awesome. The Would you happen to know the inverter and or battery size? So this is the Flexbox 21 basically. Perfect. Okay. So anything you already know about the Flexbox okay. 21, we're just casing it inside of this. The battery difference is this going to be 16 kilowatt. It'll be a 100 volt battery. Okay. 314 amp hour. It'll have a door. Sure. These will be not here. It'll look a lot different by the time it actually releases. It looks nice. Yeah. So okay. By the time it really releases, it'll look a little bit different. You'll be able to stack batteries and add okay. batteries. Awesome. Yeah. Thank I you very much. I know a lot. Yeah, I, you, I, you I, know more than what you think you I know. Mean, then. I, I was listening. There's, there's a thing if you want to capture that. There's a, oh, we got the specs right here. I was not confident. I feel much better now. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You know all about it. Uh, um, um, uh, um, uh, um, um, uh, um, 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 I think, um, 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 you know, uh, uh, grid, grid, uh, 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 u